Hey nerds, what's up? Today's video is going to be showing off all of the books on my shelves that I haven't yet read. So I've already done some math for you. I have 184 books on my shelves that are unread and I own a total of 393 books. So if I did the math correctly, 46.8% of the books on my shelves are unread, so it's almost exactly half. That's insane to me. And I will say that I do use the library a lot for books um, because I have been reading a lot of audiobooks. All the books on my shelves, if, if I've listened to the audiobook, it's considered read. So I'll put that out there right now. So let's go through my shelves. This is kind of going to be a bookshelf tour too because I'm going to show you them on the shelves. I've pulled everything that's unread to the front and everything that's behind is read. So let's get right on into this. So the first book that I have on my shelves uh, starting at the top left that is unread is right here. Carvel by Stephanie Garber. Schizo by Nick Sheff. The Perfect Girl by, I believe it's Gilly Macmillan, but it might be Jilly. Silkworm and The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith, which is also J.K. Rowling. Sweet Little Lies by Kaz Freer. The Power by Naomi Alderman. The Final Girls by Riley Sager. Side Effects May Vary by Julie Murphy. The Progeny by Tosca Lee, as well as Firstborn by Tosca Lee. Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. In my middle shelf on the top, there's quite a few. Give the Dark My Love by Beth Revis. Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young. House of Salt and Sorrows by Aaron Craig. Going Bovine by Libba Bray. Into the Drowning Deep by Mira Grant. Red Rising by Pierce Brown. The Mime Order by Samantha Shannon. Over One Who Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest by, what's his name? Something Kelsey. I can't remember. Ke Keezy or something. The Reader by Bernard Schlink. Dumplin by Julie Murphy. The Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. And A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass. And on my last top shelf, we have A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld, Neverworld Wake by Marisha Pessel, Artemis by Andy Rear, A Dance with Dragons by George R. R. Martins, The Treatment by Suzanne Young, and Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty. Moving down to the second set of shelves, I have Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sepetis, The Cruel Prince by Holly Black, The Navigator's Touch by Julia Ember, Hunger by Roxanne Gay, The Names They Gave Us by Emery Lord, Bridge of Clay by Marcus Zusak, Girl Last Seen by two authors that I can't pronounce their names, sorry, Beasts Made of Night by Tochi Anyebuchi, sorry if I butchered that, Confess by Colleen Hoover, The Remedy by Suzanne Young, a Set of Poetry by Various Authors, Meet Cute by Various Authors, and Highly Illogical Behavior by John Corey Whaley. Nothing to see in the second shelf on the middle except for my beautiful photo album that just came in the mail. It's so nice. This is my bouquet from my wedding and the boutonniere Matt wore, as well as the bridal shower bouquet that they made for me. Bailey made it. And my TBR drawer. Moving into the third shelf, I have... November Road by Lou Burney, Memoirs of a Geisha by Arthur Golden, A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray, Pride by E.B. Zavoy, The Great Alone by Kristen Hanna, The Souls of Black Folk by W.E.D. Du Bois, For Better or Worse by Margot Hunt, The Complete Sherlock Holmes Volume 2 by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, The Silent Boy by Lois Lowry, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf by Edward Albee. I've read part of that one. It's a play. The Goldfinch by Donna Tart. A Room of One's Own by Virginia Woolf. And the William Shakespeare's The Empire Striketh Back. And lastly is The Edge of Everything, which is this one there. On this row, we have Past Perfect Life by Elizabeth Yulberg. We Sold Our Souls by Jennifer Hendricks. Kingdom of the Blazing Phoenix by Julie C. Dow, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, and I Darken by Kirsten White, 
Standoff by Andrew Smith, A Record of a Space Born, Few by Becky Chambers, Wind Witch by Susan Dennard. Lots of red books have been read here. Next shelf is Harry Potter, so clearly I've read all of these, but I haven't actually opened up any of these ones, and I've only skimmed the illustrated editions. I also haven't read the special edition, the house ones of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I have read Cursed Child and the uh, collection of like short story things, and I've read this version many times. Onward! I have not yet read Aberat Days of Magic Nights of War by Clive Barker. I haven't read The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier. This Song Will Save Your Life by Layla Sales. Iron Queen by Julie Kagawa. Choker by Elizabeth Woods. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Rebel Bell by Rachel Hawkins. What Dreams May Come by Richard Matheson. Who's That Girl by, I think it's Emily Thornburg. Saints and Misfits by S.K. Ali. And Monsters of Men by Patrick Ness. Then we have, next shelf down, The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. The Hobbit by J.R. Tolkien. A Closed in Common Orbit by Becky Chambers. A Million Sungs by Beth Revis. Emma by Jane Austen. Waking Gods by Sylvia Nevin, and The Book of Awesome Women, which is a series of short stories edited by Becca Anderson. In this shelf, we have Batman by Marie Lu, Miss Mayhem by Rachel Hawkins, Graceling by Kristen Kishore, Grasshopper Jungle by Andrew Smith, Shades of the Earth by uh, Beth Revis, The Kiss of Deception by Emily Pearson, a Secret History of Witches by Louisa Morgan, The Girl from Blind River by Gail Massey, Wild Beauty by Marie, Marie McLemore, I think, Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel, Forest of a Thousand Lanterns by Julie C. Dow, and Hunted by Megan Spooner. In this shelf, we don't really have many books, but I do have a little set of comics. These are the Archie comics and the Lumberjanes comments and I haven't read any of them. Okay, second to last set of shelves here. I have Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson, The Last of August by Julie Cavallero, The Apocalypse of Elena Mendoza by Sean David Hutchinson, The Glass Arrow by Kristen Simmons, The River of No Return by B. Ridgeway, the Complete Grim Fairy Tales by The Brothers Grimm, The Sword and the Dagger by Robert Cochran, and Sea Fire by something Parker. I don't know who wrote that. Then we have Wonder Woman by Lee Bardugo, The Bane Chronicles by Cassie Clare, A Study in Charlotte by Julia Cavallero, Passenger by Alexandra Bracken, The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. This is the first book. Burke, Burke by Sylvia Niven. I can't remember the first name. Sleeping Giants, I think. The Iron King by Julie Kagawa. Hidden Bodies by Carolyn Kepnes. Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman. A Torch Against the Night by Saba Tahir. Words on Bathroom Walls by Julia Walton. And A Line in the Dark by Melinda Lowe. We have Sea Spell by Jennifer Donnelly. And then I've read all of these. Oh my gosh, amazing. And then I have Deep Blue by Jennifer Donnelly, A Hundred Sideways Miles by Andrew Smith, Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover, and The Silence of the Girls by Pat Barker. And then on the very last set of shelves, I have The Girls by Emma Klein, The Iron Knight by Julie Kagawa, Here and Now and Then by Mike Chen, The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness, The Mulberry Lens by Andrew Smith, The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers, A Madness So Discreet by Mindy McGinnis, If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo, Stardust by Neil Gaiman, Made You Up by uh, Christina Zappia, I think, Dark Blue by Jennifer Donnelly, The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager, Crown of Thunder by 
uh, again, Tochi Onyebuchi, I think. The Ask and the Answer by Patrick Ness. The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. The Forgotten Ones by Stina Holmes. <sighs> In this shelf, we have The Mermaid by Christina Henry. Armada by Ernest Cline. Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. The Way I Used to Be by... Amber Smith. The Stars in the Blackness Between Them by Junada Petrus. Toils and Trouble by Jessica Spotswood, which is edited, I think, by Jessica Spotswood. Um, Rogue Wave by Jennifer Donnelly. Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nyan. And The Iron Daughter by Julie Kagawa. Lastly, I have my messy arc shelf. So this is just a mess. These are all like textbooks and bullshit that don't matter. And then I have this set of arcs and a library book. And I also have it, This Is Where It Ends by Marika Nishkamp, which I have read, and Fireborn, which I've read. But I have not read, to be honest, Maggie Martin. I have not read How to Tell How to Make Friends in the Dark by Kathleen Glasgow, The Devouring Grey by Something Herman, Christine Lynn Herman, Again by Better by Christine Riccio, Unpregnant by Hendrix. Dear Sweet Pea by Julie Murphy, or Get a Life Chloe Brown by Talia Hilbert. Those are all of the books that I have on my shelves that I have not yet read. There's a lot of them. I am pretty proud of myself though because I haven't bought that many books of late. I've been very good on my book buying, not doing it, just not buying any books. <laughs> I've been pretty good about that, so I am glad to hear that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I make videos every Monday and Wednesday on this channel, and you can always check out all my social media down in the description box if you're interested, and I will see you guys very soon with a new one. Bye!